Am I rolling? Am I rolling? I'm rolling. Um, hey guys, wasn't gonna start this video till. But yeah guys. Hey guys. Uh bright light. You guys can see that right. The Odd Ones Out is my favorite YouTube channel. Has to be ever. Hey, are you gonna make a video about this? Mm, probably not. Are you? Mm, only if something interesting happens. Uh, I want to tell you all the story about what happened at Mr. Beast's 100K YouTuber Battle Royale. This is going to be quite a long video, so some of the drawings are going to be done by other people. And I'm going to be recording this on different microphones, so sorry if I sound different. I'm not that sorry, I don't care. And I want to tell the story in its entirety. I don't want to cut anything out or split it into two videos, because the story I'm talking about is already up on Mr. Beast's channel, so what's the point of making people wait for a conclusion when you can just go and see what happened? If you've already seen Mr. Beast's video, which a lot of you probably have, then this story has already been no. spoiled for you, and you know how it's going to turn out. But you should still stick around, because I'm going to go into detail about the events that led up to the big fight, and sprinkle in just a healthy amount of embellishment. And if you live under a rock and don't know what I'm talking about or who this Mr. Beast character is, then pull up a chair and let me explain. And to get you. out. Because this is going to be quite the video. This is Mr. Beast, a 20-year-old YouTuber that after a couple of years of making cringy Minecraft intro compilations and how much money does X YouTuber make, he started uploading some unique challenge videos. But they weren't your normal challenge videos you see on YouTube, like the cinnamon challenge or the in my feelings challenge. He challenged his endurance by making videos like reading the dictionary in one sitting, or counting to 200,000, road to a million. Then he started one-upping his challenges by making some big and questionable financial decisions, like buying 100 T-Rex costumes, or literally giving out tens of thousands of dollars to people. His videos got insanely popular, which meant he earned more money, which meant he could spend even bigger quantities of money on videos, and in turn get more views because of how crazy they were, and then he got more money, and the cycle just continued making him one of the fastest growing channels on YouTube. In 2015, he celebrated his 7K subscriber milestone, and in 2019, he's got over 16 million subscribers. The dude's been blowing up. And about a year ago, I sent him a Twitter DM saying, where do you buy so many things in bulk? Like, uh, random example, sprinkles. Because I just, I needed to know, I just wanted to know who his supplier was, because Walmart banned me. <laughs> we ended up chatting on Discord for a bit, and he told me that the reason he makes videos is to entertain people. And with the amount of money he's giving away, and the fact that he's probably losing money on some of these videos, it's obvious that he's not making these videos for the money. And I respect that. Also in the call, he told me he was playing Fortnite, and I said that my favorite video game was Tetris, and he said, yeah, you seem like the kind of person that would like Tetris. What's that supposed to mean, beast? Well, who's laughing now? Tetris is the best battle royale game out there. Tetris 99. Download it for free on Switch today. They don't sponsor me. 
So that's what Mr. Beast is for the six people watching who didn't know. Fast forward to February 2019, I'm at VidCon London, me and Dave from Born a Band were getting ready to perform Life is Fun in front of a bunch of UK blokes, and I was browsing Twitter and I saw this tweet from the Beast himself. Attention Epic Gamers, on March 6th, I'm hosting an in real life YouTuber battle royale. No one cares, I wanna watch Life is... I wanna listen to Life is a Wonder, you never know the answer. Nature's a miracle! Natural disasters. It's good to be alive. You could wake up with cancer, but I'm healthy. Healthy people still get cancer. I love this show. It's the last episode. The sun is shining. It's going to explode. Every species is beautiful and unique. Last one to step off the treadmill will get a thousand dollars for every mile they run. So if Chris is the last one to step off and he ran fifty miles, he gets fifty thousand dollars. The more they run, the more they make. All four of you, please step on the treadmill. Set them to three point three. Here's the gist: whichever one of you stops running slash walking slash jogging, I don't know what you're doing, wins. Are we allowed? <laughs> We literally just started making tank tops and Taylor already ripped one. And yeah. she's getting for tank tops. I like your nipples. <laughs> if just one foot touches the ground, you're out. No questions asked. Thanks. Last thing, anything you want, we'll get. You guys are not allowed to die on it. All you guys already know, Chris. This is Marcus. Anything you want to say to him? Hey guys, my name is Marcus. Um, that's about it. You know Chandler, the guy who loses a bunch. Are you going to turn that around today? <laughs> this is not stop the camera. <laughs> Chandler, we're doing challenges until you win, so just hurry up right, and win. Let's win, boys. And then this is Ty yes. from the serial videos. You guys really liked them, so yeah. we brought him back. So, Chris, how are you doing right now? I just ran at nine. That feels great. How are you doing, Mark? Whoa, you've already worked up a sweat. How are you doing, Chandler? I'm doing great, boss. All right, you, you all are looking a little exhausted, so let's mix this up. So currently, they're on 3.5 speed. Chris, I'll give you a chance if you want to. You can roll that die, and whatever it lands on, you have to set your treadmill to for a minute. So you can roll a one, and then get a chance to walk for a minute. And a two! So now you're going to move your treadmill down for a minute. You're going to go on two speed. Look how much slower he's going. How do you feel? I feel like I'm not making money. Here, Chandler, you do it. Roll the die. And a two! All right, so you can move it down to two. Here, go for a roll. Six. Five. He has to bump it up to five. Time, please roll a one or the viewers will kill me. What is that? Six. Two. The viewers don't want to see you suffer. Good thing these new uh, tank tops breathe easy. I know, we can eat. Shamashbeat.com. Hey Chandler, is there anything you need? Actually, it doesn't matter. Time, what do you need? Um, gushers. Any gushers? I got this. That's my thing. Marcus, do you need anything? Fruit snack. Can you go get fruit snack? I got it.
Jan. This is the ball in question. Whatever the thumb lands on when they catch it, they have to read that question. Whatever player is far on someone. Go up to ten, Chan Chan. I just sound gay saying that. In the mirror. Duh. Hottest person in the room. No, I agree with you, Doc. Alright, Chan Chan. 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 Last week. Yeah, Chan Chan. I sound so flippin' gay right now. I'm not gay. This video is at 13 minutes. Alright guys, I'm going to end this video right here. See you later. Bye-bye.